Ko Nichiwa Mino Sisakura, and you're watching Pocket Cons. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on an Xbox 360 game, and that is Perfect Dark Zero. Really excited to give this one a try just to see exactly what they do in this one. So, really excited. As always, Tim has played the game first, so I'm playing it with Vision Rob, and I can't skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer's been started, and away we go. Action save content can be located. Yeah. Missions, combat, arena, sweet. Okay. Solo agent. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, we can do secret agent. So, start mission. Bang, bang, you're red. Fire weapons appear in red dots on your radar. Loud shots make an enemy appear for longer. Firing a silencer, shoot, and you don't appear at all. Okay, well that's uh, interesting. Great. So I gotta get in without without being um, spotted. Okay. 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 Nice. Okay. Time to break things. Whatever. Really? Okay. <gasps> what the heck? I did, and there's turrets. Yeah. Okay. Nope, okay. Okay. Ha ha ha. Okay. Shoot him in the butt. It works for me. One shot kill. Nice. Only took me forever to aim that. <laughs> Of 
great. Okay. Uh, equipment. Data thief. There we go. Now saving. Okay. <gasps> what does this do? Left. Oh. Left on D-pad. Okay. I am pushing left. Hmm. <gasps> nope. Okay. I am. Huh, how weird. Okay. How weird I am. It's not. Oh. I knew that. <laughs> okay. What the heck? I'm doing it right. At least I thought so. Oh, now I see it. Okay. That did not help. Well, I think they see me, maybe. Ah, oh, we're going to nuke it. Okay. That works. Okay. Sure. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. I was like, okay, I can't fly over it. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right, now where do we go? We go this way. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Can you just imagine? Like, oh, what happened? No! The spider bots are out of control. <laughs> Great. Huh. 
And, well, timer is about to go off. So far, so good. Looks like I'm going to have a little bit of fun going through this one, and uh, already they've added some new elements to the game that I'm liking. So it's going to be fun to see exactly what the game will have, you know, and what they've been able to update. I think that's the thing that I'm more interested in is just how did they live up to, you know, making a sequel. I've heard a lot of things about this game, so I'm really excited to give it a try and all that. Already, I'm liking some of the new options that we have in there. So, yeah, not bad. At least I was able to uh, go through and get things done. They have a lot of the things that are a lot of fun, actually, so I'm quite excited. Now it's just going to be fun to see what we'll be able to uh, do and how hard the game is really going to be. That's always the, the thing, I guess. So, not bad. I'm, I'm excited. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I like what they've done. My question for you guys is, when it comes to sequels, what are some sequels that you'd love to see uh, for games that just didn't get one, yet deserve one? Hmm, that's a good challenge. There's been... A lot of really good games that they that has come out that I'd love to see a sequel to. Hmm, what? It's a good one to choose. Why not have a little bit of fun? Sanran Kagura, Bon Appetit. Love the game, and would love to see a sequel to it that brings it to the next level, you know? Brings more music, something else to it. And just for fun, just to have, you know, a little bit more of it. Yeah, I know that they added, had some add-ons and all that, but it's just not the same. So that would be one I wouldn't mind to see. Because it would be fun. Hmm. Also, I guess Monster Party for the NES, because I don't think that one ever got a, a uh, sequel to it. The game was already brutally hard, but to actually get a sequel to that wouldn't be too bad. Well, love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys for watching this Tisa Kurosing Chow and Sayonara.